Hello YouTube. Back today a little bit of a different project. Um, after working with the strobe and our flashes I got interested in the history of the photographic flash and found it was pretty interesting. Um, starting with uh, flash powders and working up to well what in the 60s was pretty high technology uh, and I decided that I wanted to make one of those old handheld um, flash power flash powder fueled flash guns uh, like see in the old movies with a guy taking a photograph and in his one hand he's got this t-handled thing and he pushes the the shutter on the camera and there's a big puff of smoke and that was the flash so I wanted to I'm gonna try try and do that but I wanted to work out the ignition process first I haven't built the handle after doing a lot of uh, research online which was not always very helpful I found a lot of videos on guys setting off fireworks or or manufacturing their own fireworks um, that really wasn't helpful to me because that's not what I want to do uh, what I did eventually discover um, was the use of a filament to ignite the flash powder and that's what I'm going to I'm going to demonstrate for you today both uh, with and without powder now what I used for a filament was I got some steel wool here this is uh, described as being number four steel wool it's pretty coarse and I pulled one strand which is about as thick as a human hair out of it I've got what I think was an old speaker wire with a couple of alligator clips on the end and I'm going to clip that filament in between the two alligator clips like this and I should say the way I wanted to do this was I wanted to ignite it electrically I didn't want to get into uh, using like a cigarette lighter spark or anything like that um, I wanted to be very simple safe and easy I've taken a 9 volt battery and so my filament is in between the two steel alligator clips one lead to one terminal on the battery another lead is here watch the filament ooh that was anticlimactic try this again we'll readjust because these uh, alligator clips are pretty well burnt up I was messing with this yesterday let's try this again there that's much better it's still a little bit slower than it has been in the past but you know these clips are pretty well loaded up and what I'm going to do next is I'm going to show you uh, how well it works with some black powder a tiny tiny amount of black powder um, and the reason it's going to be a tiny tiny amount of black powder is uh, this is just an experiment and I don't want Homeland Security here um, wondering why I'm making stuff that explodes with detonation devices uh, this is purely for demonstration purposes I'm not recommending anything to anyone uh, I will say that if you're going to try and make one of these okay, that should be a little bit better uh, that means you're going to be working with flash powder which you'll have to make yourself uh, be aware that flash powder is far less stable than uh, conventional black powder um, my research online tells me you only make the amount you're going to use at the time because the stuff does not store well uh, some of it some of the mixtures can spontaneously combust uh, and some of the mixtures simply are not stable they can't stand up to friction they can't stand up to not being knocked around and some can spontaneously combust this stuff is not to be screwed with uh, if you don't know what you're doing as I really don't know what I'm doing research do some research find out uh, some safety precautions if you're gonna be working with flash powder or any open uh, combustible material 
not just safety glasses, a full face shield, gloves. Um, I've done done this a couple times. I'm working with a very tiny amount, and I will show you. This happens to be what I'm using here is 4F primer powder. You would use this like in a flintlock. And I'm going to use about that much. Now, I don't exactly know how much that is. It's uh, If I was going to guess, I would say it would be about the size, if not smaller, than a small P. I'm going to take this outside. I'm not going to do this inside. It's, while it's a, t a small flash, it does create a lot of smoke, and that's not what I want in my house. I need to adjust this which actually is pretty mundane. So I'm going to pause here uh, and then I'm going to take it outside and we're going to light this thing up. Okay, so I'm going to take my little bit of powder and I'm going to put it right there. Oh, that didn't work so good. So I'm going to take my second little bit of powder and I'm going to put it on here. It has to touch the filament to work. Looks like that'll do it. I hope it'll work. It's a little windy today for this. But here again, I'm going to make my connections off camera. And. Okay, that didn't work the way it was supposed to. Okay, this is try number three. I rebent the filament so that it's sticking down into the powder. And we're going to do this again. And there you have it. That was a little bit sluggish. Uh, as I said, this is only steel wool. It did work better last night. Um, but this is the basic idea on how to ignite flash powder for photographic use. Uh, that would be pretty slow for a photograph. But it's only a first try uh, with pretty unsophisticated materials so I'm pretty I'm pretty happy with this so far uh, and I didn't find a lot online that was really helpful um, but I'm going to improve this I still got to make the handle and as I work on that project I will keep you informed and bear in mind this is not just a great way in fact it's not a great way to destroy your camera however it is a great way to blow yourself up and attract the attention of local authorities. Uh, until next time, bye.